Hey, hi, Sue Moore here, and the question of the day is, is there a difference in the quality of products used when it comes to skin cell renewal? Well, we're going to talk about that today, and the answer, the short answer to that is, yep. The renewal rate is very interesting, so let's just start at the very, very beginning. It's kind of refreshing here in Dallas with the spring air and um, is with us or it's just about with us and uh, it gets kind of one of you it kind of gets you thinking about renewal you know like are these are these plants going to come back um, and so you know it's just that kind of year kind of time of year I guess um, but just to start the the whole story here uh, uh, when it comes to skin cell renewal a baby's skin care renews every two weeks and that would be known as rapid skin cell rapid skin cell turnover. Don't and that's why they're so soft and and just supple and smooth and cute and you kiss them all over. Hi Shannon, how are you doing? Thanks for hopping on. Uh, that's that said. <clears throat> from that point on, as we age, especially as we get into our twenties and forties and beyond, that same process can take up to six weeks, and that causes dulling on the skin, which which ultimately will show fine lines, wrinkles, loss of firmness. So we all know what that's like. We don't want to bother with that. So we got the renewing, the cell renewing process. It starts at birth. Uh, it slows down as we age. So now one of the critical things here is vitamin A. That really is kind of the gold standard, if you will, um, in terms of an ingredient that supports the renewal uh, process and uh, providing kind of a revitalized, smoother, firmer, younger look, a younger looking skin over time. And when the outer surface of our skin looks and feels softer, well, you know, we're usually more luminous and there you can't see as many few li as fine lines and imperfections kind of get blurred and you go, well, hot dog, I'll take that all day long, right? <clears throat> okay, but as I said at the beginning, this is this is to tell you that there are differences in uh, ingredients. And so, as I said, with cell renewal process, the key major ingredient there is vitamin A. There are other ingredients, but vitamin A is really kind of the workhorse. And that uh, ingredient is vitamin A. And there are three forms of vitamin uh, um, vitamin A. So think of those three different kinds of vitamin A as steps on a ladder. So the bottom rung of the ladder would be retinol, uh, ending in an OL, okay, and that's a good product, uh, an ingredient rather. It's used lots, and for some people it's just perfect and, you know, they get, they're happy with their results. The middle rung is retinol. AL, and that is just below uh, retinoic acid, which is the highest rung on the ladder, and that is prescription dosage. So you have retinol at the bottom, you have retinol right below prescription grade, and then the retinolic um, at the very top. Okay, now, um, let me see, I did that already. Okay, so when you start, uh, when you start climbing that ladder with products that have either retinol, retinol, or prescription strength, what happens is the potency of each one of the forms of vitamin A increases. Obviously, that just makes perfect sense, right? Also, what happens there is a probability that the price of whatever product you are considering buying is also going to go up because the cost of the ingredient is a little bit more. But this is where you get to keep the decision, uh, you keep control of the decision. If you want to spend a little bit more and get something that's right under prescription grade and really del uh, delivers very dramatic results quicker, more than uh, most retinol products, then that's your choice, okay? So that's what makes knowing the ingredient. Hey, Linda. Hey, Jenny. Thanks for jumping on. I appreciate you both being here. That's just a real short... Um, uh, example of why um, knowing the kinds of ingredients that are in your products makes a difference. 
And so uh, I say all that to say, when you are standing in front of the uh, giant wall of skincare and you see a product on there that uh, says it's got retinol in it, and then you see two others over there that also say retinol and there are three different price points, what happens is most consumers don't know, you know, why one is $19.95 and why one is $39.95 and one is $42.50. They don't understand that it's not only the quality of the agreement, agree, ingredient, but it is the amount of that ingre, uh, ingredient in the product, okay? And so as a result, what happens with most people is they, they pick a product that is, and they default to what the price of that product is. And sometimes that works, and if it does, glory, hallelujah. But many times it doesn't, because I'm sure there's nobody watching this or going to either now live or on the replay, I'm sure there's nobody watching it that does not have a bag full or a drawer full of products that they thought were going to work and they didn't. And so what do you do? You don't want to throw it away because you, you know, just spent however much money. On the other hand, it's not working or maybe the vitamin A isn't stabilized so you can put it on your skin because you might have a sensitivity to it. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff there. All of that to say, when you are considering buying any kind of a product, you want to make sure that whoever you are buying the product from um, has a money-back guarantee and and that they state it, okay? And you can just, you know, try the product, use it for at least four to six weeks because it takes at least that long for you to really see, begin to see the benefit of what, you know, the product's supposed to do. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, then you know you've got a back door there. You can, you know, package it up and say, thanks, thanks, but no thanks. Please, you know, credit my credit card again. So that's the message for today. I hope you got some value out of it. If you did, please like and share. And just so you know, if you are curious as to what, what kinds of things your normal daily operation does to create the lines and the wrinkles that we're looking for a cell renewal process to take care of, message me and I have a little PDF here that is a just a short little quiz on um, what you can do. What you, First of all, know where you are in space and time when it comes to what have you done that's creating maybe lines around the mouth or more... Uh, distinct versions of crow's feet and and uh, you so you'll know exactly what your activities are and then you can address how you're going to go about taking care of it so that's it for today like i said i hope you got some uh, value out of it if you did please like and share feel free to private message me i'll pop over this pdf to you in the meantime journey well talk to you soon bye bye